Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five things that you need to do before the Halloween update does end in Adopt Me. We only have two days left of this Halloween event in Adopt Me. It's going to be leaving in two days, which means we are going to have to say goodbye to the Halloween update, but it's been a lot of fun whilst it's been in the game. And also, I should probably say Happy Halloween to everybody watching this video. I'm posting this video on Halloween so if you are celebrating today I hope that you do have a great day with any of the spooky activities that you are going to get up to today. Since the Halloween update is coming to a close I thought I would make a video and give you guys some tips on what you need to do, things that you need to do before the update does leave in the game as you're going to want to make the most of these final days as this update is never going to be returning again so here are a few tips on what you can do to make the most of it before it does leave forever. But before we do get started with today's video, as I always say, if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a like so then I know to do more just like this one. And also hit the subscribe button as well so then you can be subscribed to the channel and never miss an upcoming video. So I hope that these tips are going to help you out and let's go ahead and get started. So tip number one is to buy the scarecrow boxes. The scarecrow boxes in the Halloween update came with week three. They are these boxes that we have in the game here where you can purchase three pets out of them the scarecrow horse the scarecrow cat and the scarecrow crow you may be wondering why i have included this in my tips video but that is because buying these boxes means that you can keep them in your inventory for the future and as you keep these in your inventory for a longer amount of time they are going to increase in value a lot they will help with trading in the future people may offer some good stuff in trading when trading these boxes in a few months time as people are going to pay a bit more for these boxes than they would for one of the pets that are going to come out of the box especially the scarecrow horse as it just is a rare pet because in the box you still have a chance of getting either of the three pets available so that bumps the increased value of the box up by a lot so if you're not too sure what to spend your candy on definitely buy it some scarecrow boxes keep them in your inventory for the future and for trading. Tip number two is to buy pets to make neon pets. Make sure you're using a bit of your candy left over to buy pets that you're wanting to make into neons as you may have not had time to work on making all the neons you wanted to during this update. I have only been able to work on making one neon pet during this update which is the neon ghost here. I'm currently working on making a scarecrow but I still do need to buy some pets for that. I still need to buy a few more scarecrows so I will definitely definitely be using my own tip with doing that. So once the update's gone it, you will still have all of the pets available in your inventory to make into a neon pet. Not only that, making the Halloween pets into neons will increase their value as well when trading as people are going to want to trade for them more than, for example, if this was just a normal ghost the increase in them will go up a lot in the upcoming months so keeping them to make into neons for yourself in the future or to trade them away is a great idea. Tip number three is to buy pets and items that you don't have yet. This tip is more for the people who are more collectible players when they play Adopt Me, people who like to just collect all of the items. So if you do have some candy to spare then buy pets that you don't have already, buy items that you don't have already try and collect as many of the items and pets as you can before they do leave. I know that I'll be using this tip a little bit because I do like to try and get as much as I can that I don't already have in my inventory, especially the toys because I find them a lot of fun to collect so I'll definitely be doing that with my candy before the update does end. My second to last tip, tip number four, is to buy the rarer pets. This tip definitely goes a lot more into the trading value and the value of of pets but if you still have a lot of candy left over then this tip is definitely going to work for you for sure. In the haunted asylum go and purchase the pets that are higher in value and the rarer pets such as the ultra rare pets and the legendary pets even the legendary vehicles. The vehicles can be quite good to trade in the future too but especially out of them all the legendary pets are going to be the ones that you are going to want to get your hands on and keep in your inventory because trust me this time next year then pets could get you an amazing trade the value of them is going to be very high if you think about in the past when we've had halloween pets 
gifts especially the evil unicorn and the bat dragon they are worth so much in trading if we head into the journal and head down to the halloween section with all of the pets for this year definitely try and get your hands on the legendaries such as the dire stag the scarecrow crow and also the nightmare owl is a good one to get to and if you do have any robux definitely try and get yourself the werewolf or especially the vampire dragon because the dragon pets are always very much in high demand in adopt me so definitely try and get these pets before they go if you have a lot of candy they will definitely help you out with future trading and my final tip of today's video is a pretty easy tip and a pretty simple one but it is to spend all your candy so just make sure you're spending all of your candy down to the final amount try and get your candy limit down to zero again as when the update leaves so will your candy currency so there's no point putting it to waste buy as much as you can big or small you can buy duplicates of things just make sure that you're spending all of your candy because you don't want to put any of it to waste you will see me as i put clips in throughout this video i'll be spending all of this 100k candy as i want to try and get as much as i can throughout this update but that is where i'm going to be leaving today's video i really hope that you did enjoy it i hope that these few tips will help you out when spending all your candy in adopt me if you're struggling to figure out what to spend it on then i hope that this video will help you as well as you may be thinking what can i spend my candy on what's the best thing to do with it and these tips are exactly what i recommend definitely let me know in the comment section of today's video what are you going to spend the rest of your candy on have you spent all your candy already and also let me know in the comment section down below too as this will probably be my final halloween video what has been your favorite part of this year's halloween update i would love to hear in the comments section down below but other than that thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope that you did enjoy it i hope that you have a great rest of your day and i will see you again very soon bye